Hey everybody, welcome to the new episode of Real Talk Central, the show where I sit in my college dorm room and I talk. And today, we are going to be talking about... I I don't even know what I'm going to title this video, so... uh, (laughs) I just got home from work, and this is a spontaneous episode of uh, Real Talk Central. Um, I took I took last Saturday off because uh, I um I was visiting home because uh, I had a bunch of family from out of town. Uh, at the time I'm recording this, it is actually that Saturday. Uh, it is uh, what 11:43 p.m. and uh, the reason it's 11:43 p.m. is because I just got home from work, and I'm not sure if I said that yet, but yeah. Today was a pretty, I, okay, so when you say it's a, it's been a rough day, I'm not sure, like, what exactly, like, quals, qualifies for that, because, you know, like, how that saying's like, oh, like, I've definitely had worse days, so, I, I've had worse days than today, but for some reason, everything is just getting to me today, and that's why this is a spontaneous podcast, because I just felt like I needed to get everything off my chest, okay, so, um, it is, what, Saturday, June 29th, 2019, and, um, I've, I've had a, I've had a good day, uh, the beginning, beginning of my day was pretty good, and then, uh, later on I had work, so, um, I guess I'll just run through my entire day, so, um, this morning, I, I called an Uber for myself because uh, I went home today. Um, I saw a bunch of family that was out of town, and we all had a nice brunch at my aunt's house. And and that was like about at um, 8.30 a.m. when when I woke up today, and I, I was like leaving the house at around that time. And so I went to my dad's house, and then when we got to my dad's house, we got in, into the car. And we drove to my aunt's house, and I saw my entire family. Uh, um, I have like a bunch of relatives from like what Virginia, Kentucky, California, and um, who are all here. And uh, I, I had a fun weekend. Uh, I was also home for like other parts of the weekend too, and I saw all my other cousins from Virginia. And it was a great time seeing everyone. I had some like amazing Filipino food, and um, s- oh my, uh, my microwave actually just went off because I'm making myself a dish. Like I said, it's a long day. Um, so yeah, I, and then later on, um, we left the brunch and my stepmom drove me back to my college campus because I worked today from four to 11. Um, and I normally don't work Saturdays. So what I usually, my normal work schedule is Monday through Thursday, 12 to six, and then Friday, seven to 11.30 PM. So, um, at, um, I mentioned in uh, another episode that I work at a cupcake shop in uh, the town that I live in. And so how we have our shifts is we have the morning shift, which is, which is 6 a.m. to 12, which I don't work any of those anymore, actually. I have worked them, but I don't anymore. And then we have the mid shift, which is my main shift, the 12 to 6. And then we have the closing shift, which is it could range from 6 to 11 30 or it could be 4 to 11 um and a 4 to 11 is what i work today but usually i don't work on weekends Uh, i usually have saturdays and sundays off but today i was actually covering a shift for my friend maddie who is out of town in michigan and the reason i took the shifts was um because i she was so kind to cover my shifts because You know how I have the musical coming up, um, which is going great, by the way. I feel like the show is really coming along. We just uh, we just finished blocking the entire show, and um, I'm completely off book of that. Um, But anyway, so I had some Friday shows that I'm going to be off performing, and obviously I can't be working those. So I asked my friend Maddie if she could cover them for me, and she's like, "Yeah, um, there's just this one date that I um, I might need uh, cover um, some coverage on, and it is a." you know, today, the, the June, Saturday, June 29th, from 4 to 11, so, um, 4 to 11 is a seven-hour shift, uh, it is one hour longer than what I usually do, which is, like, the six, um, and so my stepmom drove me back to campus, and, um, I got back to campus at around, like, maybe one o'clock, so I had three hours to, like, do whatever until I had to go to work at four, so I took a nap. I took a really nice nap. It was, it was one of, 
I, I don't know, like, you, you know that feeling when, like, you wake up early and then um, you need to just do something real quick and then, like, you return right back to your bed a couple hours later. Yeah, that was that kind of nap. It was good. Like, it was the nap where I woke up and I had lines on my arms because it was... <sighs> um, but anyway, so I went to work at 4 p.m. And I uh, going into my shift, um, we have this app. It's called When I Work. It's sort of like a scheduling app that, like, the entire staff is on that, uh, that like, reminds everyone, like, hey, look, you have a shift this day, you have shift that day. And then... Um, so on the app it said four to eleven. All right. So so keep keep that in your head. I work, I start work at four and I end at eleven p.m. Right. Okay. You got that. So, um, I personally don't. I'm not really a huge fan of closing shifts. Um, if you've ever had a closing shift before, like you you probably like know what they're like, you know, cause you, you got like a whole list of chores to do, you know, you got to like prepare the, the shop or store or whatever the friggin' place you work at for the next day. Um, and you know, there's just a lot of things that you have to do. And my main shifts are the mid shifts, you know, like I said, so whenever I work a mid shift, it goes by pretty fast, you know, again, 12 to six. Um, so what I, I guess I'll just run you through what my typical mid-shift day is, Monday through Thursday. So, I get to work at 12. Uh, I, I usually clock in out around like 11.50-ish or 11.55, whatever it is. Um, and then I I get there and I have um, like a, a big stack of dishes that the bakers had just accumulated um, from the beginning of that day. And um, you usually, like sometimes there's like a... a like a good amount of dishes to be done and um and but i you know that's why i'm there i'm a dishwasher at the cupcake shop and i'm glad that there's a lot of dishes you know because like it gives me something to do it keeps me busy and um usually when i when i get to work the stack of dishes that is usually waiting for me there takes about i would say two and a half hours to three hours uh, at most um, for me to do so by the time I get done with those dishes it is either 2 30 or 3 o'clock so I'm already halfway through my shift and that's good you know because it goes by very fast and it keeps my mind off things and y you know when like you're working a shift and like you you're trying to like um find a bunch of things to do to make the time but uh, go by quicker oh, oh I just dropped something um so for example like you if you're allowed to listen to music during work, you like put in your earbuds or or whatever, and then you like listen to music, you know, to help the time go by faster. Um, that is something that I used to do. I don't really do it anymore because uh, I've I've started to find that when I listen to music, I sort of have a perception of time, and that causes the shift to go by slower, from what it seems. Um, it, it's sort of like the thing. It's where um, when you look at the clock often time tends to go by faster but if you don't look at it it goes like your shift or whatever your school day goes quick so i've started to not listen to music i've started to just uh like not have anything and just you know work um uh we do have like um like music playing over the loudspeakers but like i, I don't really pay attention to it because i'm i'm focused on the dishes so the music is in my like subconscious so um the bottom line is work tends to go by fast and then after I get done with the dishes at three o'clock that's usually when I have my lunch and I usually run across the street to Jimmy John's or down the street to Mod Pizza and I have my uh, I have my lunch for the day and that I usually uh, I'm sitting down for like 20 to 30 ish minutes um, and then after I'm done eating I go and I get I return back to work and by by then it's like what 330 ish and Aside from washing dishes, at the cupcake shop, the dishwashers have, like, a list of chores that they need to do. And every single, like, different shift, like, the day shift, the mid shift, and the night shift have different chores that need to be done. You know, because it's, like, different times throughout the day. Um, so, for example, the, the day shift needs to, like, wipe down the counters. The mid shift, what I work, needs to mop the floors, uh, clean the kitchen mats, and reload the ingredient bins. And the night shift needs to... Um, well, whatever, uh, clo um, what do they do? Oh yeah. The, the night shift, what they need to do is they need to wash all the front of house dishes. So the front of house is where like all the cupcakes are displayed in the nice little like window containers. Um, so 
that usually is what keeps me occupied for the rest of the entire shift. So I return back to work, I get started on the kitchen mats, I roll them up, I, uh, I rinse them in the sink, and then I, I sweep the kitchen, I mop the kitchen, I, I put back the kitchen mats, I reload the ingredient bins, I clean the stove, you know, I do everything I need to do. And that usually, like, takes me to the end of the entire shift. And it's 6 o'clock by then, alright? So... That's why I like working the mid shifts because it, I'm busy the entire time and there's there's like little to no waiting around and I usually don't like waiting around and like having nothing to do and of course you know you try to find stuff to do but there's not really a lot you could do um, so that's why I like the mid shifts because there's you're you're always busy the night shifts is is what I don't really, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, because there's, um, at the end of the day, there's not a lot of customers that come in, and um, there's not a lot of side chores that need to be done, and, you know, of course, there's dishes, but you, I, I just get done with those super quicks, and it's no big deal, you know, but, but the thing is, there's a lot of waiting around, and I get so bored, and because I'm waiting around, and I've already done everything that I need to do, like, I've, I've asked the other workers, hey, do you need help with anything, and I, I've done everything I can, there's still a lot of downtime, and because of that, the shift goes by super slow, and that's what I don't like, so, um, my 4 to 11 shift, in summary, was exactly like that. I knew, like every single time I go into a closing shift, I know that there's gonna be times where I'm waiting around and it's gonna feel slow. And because, especially because I normally don't work Saturdays and I was covering the shifts, it it was even worse, you know? Cause like I, I'm thinking the whole entire time like, wow, I normally don't work these shifts. And so that, that just makes time go by even slower. And plus, I usually only work six hours, but a four to eleven is seven hours, so that made it go by even slower because I know that I'm going to be there for an extra hour. And so that basically summarized my entire shift. Me just like waiting around, and you know, I did everything I could do. Um, but then, at the last hour, it was ten o'clock, and I was like, "Okay, great. I'm only working for one more hour. Let's just get through this last hour, and then I'm good." And then, um. So that that's usually when things start to pick up at the night shifts, you know, because like uh, we're like setting everything for the next day, like uh, we're putting away all the cupcakes, um, I'm washing all the front of house dishes. Um, I need to sneeze, but it just went away. Gosh, I hate when that happens. Um, sorry if I sound stressed out right now. I kind of am stressed out. If you couldn't tell by what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah. It, start, it started to pick up at the end, you know, I had more stuff to do. I was, like, washing all the dishes that, that needed to be washed. Um, and then I go to the front of the house, and um, one of my supervisor was there today. You know how there's always, like, a supervisor there. And I told her, like, um, by the way, I'm leaving at 11 o'clock today. Because usually whenever closing shifts that I work on Fridays, the 7 to 11.30, I, I, you know, I leave at 11.30. But I guess the Saturday one was different, you know, because I don't usually work these. So I was told 4 to 11. And remember, like, like I said, you guys have to remember, I told you earlier, 4 to 11. Keep that in your head. I work, I was told that I worked 4 to 11. And it said on the app, the When I Work app, that I worked 4 to 11. And so when I told my supervisor that I was leaving at 11, she's like, why? Why are you leaving at 11? I was like, well, that that's what it says on the app, and that that's usually the shift that Maddie works, you know, the person I was covering for. And she's like, she usually stays until 11.30. And I was like, well, that that's not what I was told, because she says that she works for, that I, she asked me to cover 4 to 11. That's what it said on the When I Work app. And she looked at me, she's like, you need to stay until 11.30. And, you know, 30 minutes, that's not... 30 minutes is not too bad, obviously, you know, because I just got done with, uh, I'm, I'm, about, I'm about to finish a seven hour shift. 30 minutes is not that bad. But when you just spent the entire day being bored out of your mind and you just want to go home already, obviously, like, even the smallest amount of time, 30 minutes, you it just bothers you so much. And you know that feeling when, like, um, someone tells you to do something, but, like, they're just the messenger, you know, it's, it's like, it's not their fault that they're telling you that they're just like telling you the rules. And, um, 
and in the moment you don't like what they're telling you and you you feel like you want to be mad at someone so you get mad at them <laughs> that was my situation right now i was so freaking mad at my supervisor but again it's not her fault she was just like telling me like what i need to do and there wasn't much i could do so i was just like okay i'll stay until 11 30. it's it's like it's sort of like the thing where um the guy in the movie is like look guys i just work here like th that's not my fault that was my situation you know because like yeah sure maybe maddie might have always stayed until 11 30 but the thing is my situation i was counting on the entire day for me to leave at 11 o'clock so for my supervisor to tell me yeah um we need you to stay until 11 30 i get it those that's the policy that's usually what happens but because my supervisor is telling me that, I am automatically mad at my supervisor. You, you, you get what I'm saying? You know, I just want someone to be mad at. Um, so I was like, okay. And I I knew that I couldn't leave until I got all of my work done. So I was I was asking her, like, is there anything else uh, that, that you need? Like, I got all my stuff done. And I was like, is there anything else you need? And she's like, um, if you could um, mop the um, the entire shop, that uh, that would be great before you leave. And I was like... Okay, I'll mop the shop. Um, when I work my closing shifts on Fridays, I thought to myself, um, I never usually mop the floors. That's usually what the front of house workers do. Um, but I was like, okay, whatever, I'll do it. I didn't tell her that, by the way, but that's just what I was thinking. So I was like, okay, whatever, I'll just mop the floors. Um, it was 11.15 by then. So I, I went ahead and I filled up the mop bucket and I started to mop. And then as I'm mopping... The entire thing and uh, and also by the way i have 15 minutes minutes left in the shift and it usually takes like a good amount of time to mop the entire store um so i'm doing this as fast as i can like I, i'm like if you saw me i was going freaking fast i was like i was like moving super fast with the mop i was like my hair was whipping and everything i, I probably look ridiculous the mop was getting tangled up i was like i'm just trying to get out of here so um as i'm mopping my other um one of my employees who works at the front of the house, um, who uh, I'm, I'm, I'm friends with, she's like, oh, uh, Jason, I, I haven't swept yet. And you know, like, you can't mop until you sweep. And so my supervisor hears this and she's like, oh, you haven't swept yet? Okay, Jason, uh, if you could sweep and then mop, that would be great. <laughs> and again, I can't be mad at my supervisor because that's just what needs to happen. That's the store's policy of closing. So I was like, all right, I'm not even going to be mad at my supervisor you, like, because it's not it's not her fault. It is not my supervisor's fault. She's just telling me what needs to be done. So I so that means I have to do two layers on the floor. I have to sweep and then I have to mop. So I was like, OK, whatever. I'll just go get that damn broom. So I do that. I sweep the floors. I mop the floors and I, I get that done in a whopping like maybe f like 20 minutes and as I, when I finally get done sweeping and mopping the floors, I look at the clock, it's 11.40. So, I was supposed to leave 10 minutes ago at 11.30, and on top of that, I thought that I was supposed to leave at 11 o'clock. So, obviously, I'm like, okay, I need to get the frick out of this freaking shop. <laughs> Again, I'm not mad. You know, I, I had a good attitude throughout it all. I'm, I'm just like, whenever I told, whenever my professor, or professor I, yeah obviously that, that's how stressed i am like i'm getting names mixed up whenever my supervisor told me that i need to do something like i had a good attitude i was like okay you know yeah i'll, I'll be able to get it done because i knew that i would be able to get it done like i would easily be able to get it done in like 15 20 minutes just the fact that i it was unexpected y you know what i mean that i thought i would be leaving earlier but i was like yeah okay whatever there's not there's nothing i could do about it i just i just need to get it done then i'm, I'm out of here um and so i get it done and then i i i i clock out and i i'm out of here and the funny thing is is that the entire day i i don't know something about today i was feeling a little bit like weird about it because like a part of the reason is because like i knew that like the day was going by slow and i needed to like i I kept looking for something to do. There was nothing, so I was bored the entire day. And um, you know when you're bored and you're just sitting there, like the only thing you could do is think in your head. You know, you you just like let, like the only like person that you have to talk to is yourself. So you just like have your thoughts to keep you company. So, 
you know, that's normal. That's, that's how the human body works, right? But in my case, that is not really the best thing, me being alone with my thoughts. Um, I, I guess this is the, the first, like, time I'm mentioning anything like this. I, I, I've sort of had, like, a rough past. Um, and long story short, I've, I've had to go to, to therapy for some things. Um, it was not my choice though. My, my, it was my parents that sent me away to therapy, um, because, you know, they were concerned, which I understand. But, um, when I, the last time I was in therapy, I, it wasn't really like the best experience for me. Let's just say that. And, but lately for like, um, the past year, I've started to feel like, you know, maybe I should go back to therapy. And, like, I, I'm, I'm past everything that I've, like, dealt with in, uh, before. You know, I'm completely fine now. But, of course, you know, there's, like, stuff that lingers in your head. You know, like, past memories. And um, so those memories tend to cloud my brain. And that happens whenever I'm alone with my thoughts. In this case, during my shift at work. And, and it didn't help that the that my shift was going by super slow and I was now thinking of like everything, you know, it, cause if you, everyone has had like bad memories before and you know how much it sucks when those like memories tend to like go into your head. Um, you know, cause like, you, you don't really want to be thinking about that stuff. But in my case, like, I feel like my thoughts, like my memories from my past tend to get into my head more than it should be. And that's why I've been thinking, like, maybe I should go back to therapy. But then I was thinking to myself, like, eh, you know, like, it's, I'm, all, I'm probably only thinking that because, like, today has been a long day and I just want to go home already. You know, I'll just, like, wait till the end of the day, then I'll see. And then later on, that's when my supervisor told me that, like, yeah, you need to stay until 1130. <laughs> In that moment, I was like, okay. I'll stay until 11.30. I went to the back of the kitchen. I, I pulled out my phone. I, I texted my mom. I was like, yeah, I need to get back into therapy. Um, it's funny because I have I knew that that was going to happen. Like, I knew all along that I was going to be going back into therapy eventually. And I guess that today was the the final, like, stepping stone and for me to, like, finally take the initiative and ask for help and say, like, look, Mom, I, I want to go back, like, there's just like a lot of stuff in my mind and you know I feel like I like I said at the beginning of the podcast I've had worse days so far so why what about today made me actually take this initiative and go back and like tell my mom that I want to go into therapy and the answer to that is I don't know but what I do know is this was probably like long awaited and it needed to happen eventually and I guess that this is the day that it happened and I don't know why, because like I said, I've had worse days. But the bottom line is, it's good that this happened because um, I'm because this is what I wanted. I wanted to go back to therapy for a long time. Um, the only thing is, is that um, I'm not sure when I could um, I'm available to go to therapy. Um, I would assume that it would be at night because I'm a student by day and starting this the school year i'm going to be working at night and <laughs> you know what that means a lot of uh, more closing shifts so yeah starting this school year um i'm going to be changing my work schedule I'm not i'm not going to be working any mid shifts i'm literally going to be working all closing shifts which is gonna nope positive mindset it's gonna go great i'm just gonna f like find a lot of things to do i'm going to stay busy the whole time and it's gonna be good Okay, sorry. Um, so, yeah, that happened. I texted my mom saying, look, I want to go back to therapy. Uh, she's actually been texting me this entire time for the podcast because she wants to talk, which, uh, sorry, mom, I, I'm, I'm recording. I'll, I'll call you right after, I promise. But, uh, um, so, yeah, when I finally got out of work, I clocked out. I, uh, I walked back to my dorm, um, I, and as soon as I got back, I found my... Uh, Mountain Dew <laughs> and I took two drinks of this Mountain Dew and I sat down and I recorded this podcast and I and this is this is this is this is what I needed. I just I just needed to rant to to someone and in that case it's you guys. So I'm sorry if this is a freaking weird ass episode of Real Talk Central. I I've had a lot of Mountain Dew to drink. 
and I've had a rough day, as you can see. Um, I finally texted my mom saying that I want to go back into therapy. So obviously today has been like a weird day, which I've had, like I said, I've had worse days. I don't know about what about today, uh, but the bottom line is it needed to happen because I am going to be, I want to be going back into therapy and that's like what I told my mom. Um, so what this podcast is going to be 25 something 30 minutes um i'm not even gonna freaking bother editing this this like this is just a pure podcast that i'm going to be uploading i i don't even freaking care i'm not even gonna edit this but it's just i'm just gonna upload it because i feel like this is what i needed i needed to talk to someone i needed to rant and that's good and that's exactly what i'm going to be doing when i go back into therapy i'm going to be talking to someone i'm going to be ranting to someone and that is exactly what I needed, obviously, because that's a reason why I started this this podcast is because I, I felt like I, I have a lot of thoughts and I wanted someone like to hear those thoughts. You know, granted, I have a lot of like loving people in my life that I could talk to, but um, I don't know. I just wanted to like, get my thoughts out to, to more people. Because I've, uh, I, I, I have a lot of deep conversations with people, and and sometimes when I have these deep conversations, I'm like, dang, this is good. I want more people to hear this. So, that was the birth of this podcast. Um, but I don't know where I'm going with this. I guess uh, I'm just gonna have like an abrupt ending. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, that, that, this is no, it's, it's no big deal. You know, this. This hasn't even been my worst day, like I freaking said already. Um, so yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I'm gonna take a shower. Um, the good news is I have the Pride Parade tomorrow. Um, it is um, June 30th. Well, oh, it's 12:10 now. I've been talking for almost half an hour. Um, but yeah, me and my friends are going to the Pride Parade in Chicago. I'm super freaking excited. Um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna vlog. Maybe I will. Maybe I won't. But um. Um, sorry for taking a break, uh, last weekend, uh, by the time you guys are hearing this, it's going to be the next Saturday after the, the 29th, um, or, you know, screw it, I might freaking just upload this tomorrow, whatever, usually these podcasts are on a Saturday, but whatever, it's going to freaking be on a Sunday or a Monday, whatever, when, whenever the hell you guys are freaking listening to this podcast, okay, yeah, I need, I need to freaking go to bed, uh, I still have my food waiting for me in the microwave, so, I'm going to end it right here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you guys so much. <sighs> yeah. Um, ha have, a ni have a nice night. That's, that's all I need to say. Um, thank you guys for everything. Thank you for subscribing. Um, don't forget to like. Favorite. You know, I'm not even going to ask for that. Because you guys just listening to this is enough. And for that, I say thank you. Thank you so much for listening to this podcast. Thank you so much for watching my videos and, like, tuning in. Um, I, I can't thank you guys enough, you know, because hard days like this, it's nice to know that um, there are people who, like, watch my videos and who are out there. Um, and, yeah, that's really all I have to say. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Um... <laughs> I'll see you guys in the car. Thank you. Goodbye.